Hello and welcome to the Connect for Windows SDK Beta Quick Starts. So this is the first video in the series. We're going to do a quick introduction level set for the six videos in this series. One, this is really designed to get you started. So we'll walk through some basic examples showing you all the different things that you can use the SDK for. We do assume that you have programming experience. So um, uh, we're going to be using Visual Studio, uh, typical things like properties, methods, events. You should be able to understand uh, that. And then we're only using the Manage API, so uh, we're not using C++. The concepts work in both VB and C Sharp, although the code samples are in C Sharp. Okay, so with that set, uh, just give you a quick overview of the series as a whole. So this is the installing and using the Connect Sensor uh, video. We'll get into the details of that in just one second. But we're going to talk about uh, the Connect hardware. And then we're going to talk about how you can actually use it, uh, make sure that your install is working, and use it as a regular uh, array microphone for your PC. Next, we're going to set up your development environment. This is a, a, should be a short video, but it just shows you the references libraries we need, the using statements we need, and how we're going to initialize and uninitialize, a very important thing to make sure uh, we get right for all the other samples. And most of the samples we use here are going to be using Windows Presentation Foundation. Uh, next is camera fundamentals. That's where we walk into actually how to use the RGB video camera and uh, the depth camera. Uh, we, we're going to subscribe to events, uh, get the data back, and show you how to use that. Uh, we'll also show you how to use the tilt, which is the um, to be able to tilt your connect up and down. Next is the working with depth data. That's where we're going to dive a little deeper into the depth information that's sent back, understand that it's actually distance information for each pixel, and work with that. And then finally, our, our next is skeletal tracking fundamentals. And there, we're actually going to be using the skeleton engine and how you can do things like track the position of different joints for a skeleton, up to 20 different joints, and understand whether that skeleton is tracked or not tracked, and then how to fine tune that. And finally, last but not least, is audio fundamentals. So this is where you can use uh, the Connect microphone to actually build audio-enabled applications, specifically to record audio or to use speech recognition in your applications. Um, so uh, now that we've given you the, the high level on the whole series, let's get into installing and using the Connect sensor. So to give you an overview of the Connect sensor, um, First thing is uh, uh, we have the RGB camera. So the RGB camera, what that is is just a color uh, display of an image that, that um, responds uh, 30 frames per second. And it, it represents a typical video frame, but it is a static, it is an image that's sent back, not a video stream. Um, next up is the 3D depth sensors. So what this is, is um, one is a projector, an infrared projector on the left side. And the, on the right side is an infrared sensor. So what's happening is the infrared uh, projector is projecting out infrared data. And then what, what the sensor is doing is timing how long it takes that to get back, and then doing a calculation so you know the distance for each pixel. And with that, you can uh, get depth information to know how far away something, it, it, something is. Um, next is we have a, a four microphone array um, built into the Connect. And that actually mounts as a regular microphone. We're going to show a demo of that. And you can use that for almost any application. Um, and then a motorized tilt. So the tilt uh, allows you to change the degrees plus or minus 27 degrees so that you can get a better viewing angle. Now, um, if you got uh, this bundle, meaning the standalone sensor, um, you are OK. It includes a cable, which is this USB cable. And you see a picture of it from the Microsoft Store. But if you do not have this cable, which is a power plug and a normal USB cable, you will need to buy this. The, um, for example, if you, say, maybe bought a uh, used Connect sensor, or maybe uh, you got it in a bundle and you only have this orange cable, this orange cable um, has a slight angle on this side, and it is not a USB cable. You will need this adapter to plug it into your PC. So uh, don't force that into your PC. Um, and uh, uh, you know, while we're talking about the Connect, one thing to remember is you should be downloading the Connect SDK. I've actually installed it, um, uh, the version before we've shipped onto uh, this local machine. And we're going to just show you 
uh, what it means to have a successful um, install. And let's just do that. So I have this installed on my machine. What I'll do is just go into manage my PC and device manager. And under here, I see this Microsoft.connect. Let me just zoom in here so you can see. So we have an audio array control, a camera, and a device. So that's how I know that my uh, device has been correctly um, installed and configured on my machine. So next is I want to show you just a basic demo without any code, the things that you can use um, to record audio and, of course, to use speech recognition. So if we just right click on our speaker button here, or if we go to control panel sound, you'll see the same option. If we look at our recording devices, you'll actually see the microphone array, the two connect USB audio microphone array. And right now it's actually recording my audio as it comes in. So I will use a, um, I'm just going to click OK and just show you that the microphone array mounts as, as a normal microphone so you can use it in applications. And we'll do that by showing sound recorder. So this is just the Windows sound recorder. And I will click uh, Start, Test 1, Test 2, Bueller, Bueller. Um, I'll save that to my desktop, my awesome sound file. I'll close this. And I don't know if you can hear that because it's really low here. But it is, in fact, playing. So. Uh, uh, more of the story, and I have a Connect, and just to be clear, the Connect I'm using and I'll be using throughout the series is over there. Um, one thing to note is you may see a flashing light on it. If the light is flashing, that means the, the Connect sensor is connected um, and working. So uh, uh, I didn't do anything special. All I did was plug in, install the Connect for Windows SDK, plug it in, and I'm able to record sound. Now the other thing I can do is use uh, speech recognition. So go to Control Panel and just type Speech Recognition. And I'll say Start Speech Recognition. Now, if you haven't run this before, you will be asked what kind of microphone you have. There's an option for a, a headset microphone, a desktop microphone, or other. And other says a microphone array. That's what you want to choose, because this is a microphone array. Um, so I think I had a sound recorder open, just leave it open, um, and I'll do a, a, just a quick command here. Um, let's try it. Uh, switch to sound recorder. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but what you can do is, um, and I'll just stop listening, um, and by the way, you can tell it, stop listening. All right. Um, so what you can do is tell it to, for example, um, take commands, and uh, the classic one is, for example, to use your voice as your task switcher. So from there, um, uh, we were just able to do a quick switch to um, our open application. We could have done a switch to, say, uh, PowerPoint. So a real basic example, that's using the Windows Speech Recognition Engine, no custom code, sound recorder, no custom code. So uh, just at a high level, things to take away from here, we have um, uh, the RGB camera, the depth camera. Uh, that underneath the covers, using the magic of software, does the skeletal tracking as well. Um, so that's on the software side. Um, and then the built-in microphone array. Um, and in our next session, we're going to set up our development environment and actually get coding. Thanks. Mm -hmm.